Hi everyone, here's the Book Chemist once again, and this is a quick review of an amazing graphic novel called Omega the Unknown by Jonathan Lethem and Carl Rusnak. Jonathan Lethem is one of my favorite writers, and Omega the Unknown is a, if I understand correctly, it's a comic book which originally came out in the 1970s, and it was a weird comic book. It didn't, it wasn't too much of a success, and they had to compromise the original intentions of the series, and eventually they had to terminate the series uh, much earlier than expected. But it was, so, uh, it was basically what Watchmen would be in the 80s, about 10 years uh, in advance. What I mean is that it was a superhero comic book that moved within the boundaries and the limitations of the superhero genre, while at the same time being a critique of that genre, and a reflection on the dynamics and on the meaning of the superhero within a society, and on the, uh, on, on the meaning of that genre and of its staples and of its tropes. Omega the Unknown was also a great inspiration on Jonathan Lithum. He says that himself at the end of this collected volume of Omega the Unknown. It was a great inspiration for Lithum when it came to the Fortress of Solitude. His masterpiece, probably, um, this amazing novel about growing up in New York City as a bullied kid in the 1970s. And what Omega, uh, yeah, my sister, what uh, Lithum and, uh, and Rusnak did with this rewriting of the comic book was basically stick to the original intention of the series before it was compromised by its original lack of success in the 1970s and write this kind of self reflective postmodern comic book about superheroes fighting robots, but more than that, about the metaphorical reasons why th these two kinds of cosmic forces have to clash in society. The result is a very cool graphic novel about the horrors and dynamics of corporate branding and about the way superheroes in a capitalist society are inevitably, um, you know, capitalized upon and they are turned into some kind of uh, merchandise and uh, selling tool and if that sounds brainy, it's because Omega the Unknown, despite being filled with breathtaking fights, is kind of a brainy um, comic book. It's a brainy graphic novel. And if I think it has some kind of flow, is that it plays its postmodern card a little bit too heavily. And uh, it, it relies a lot on that idea of circularity you already find in Watchmen, but in a much less natural way. I'm not going to talk about the plot, of course, but yeah, it is rewarding as a narrative. Maybe it feels like its circularity and some of its postmodern or self-reflective elements are imposed from the outside in order to make a kind of philosophical point or social point rather than that they come out from the story itself and serve a specific narrative function. The graphic novel deals with bullying too and on that front it is amazing and shows all the horror and the dread of being a victim of bullying on a daily basis and its drawing style, Rusnak's drawing style is amazing. It's um, it's weird because the drawings are amazing and they're beautiful and I can show them to I can show them to you. I'm not sure you're going to see anything, but at the same time they're not as polished as you would expect from a superhero comic book. And the result is that most of the time this um, New York City, which is the setting of this graphic novel, feels very seedy and very. Uh, you know, uh, ratty in a certain way. The characters too, both male and female characters, are not the kind of supermodels you would expect from a superhero comic book, and for whatever reason they all look vaguely ugly, especially from the distance they all look cross-eyed, which goes together very well with the extreme realism of the, of the graphic novel. I mean, look at these faces, these are everyday New Yorkers. You'd see them on the street, you wouldn't see them I don't know, in, in a commercial on the side of a bus? Overall, it's an amazing graphic novel. It's not flawless, but if you are a fan of, you know, clever, self-reflective comic books, if you're a fan of Watchmen, do read Omega the Unknown. If you're a fan of Jonathan Liston's production, I'm sure you're going to love it. Um, uh, by the way, uh, Watchmen, Omega the Unknown, quite different things, but you, can, you, you will see some similarities, and if you like one of the two, I'm sure you'll love the other. Thank you for watching guys, let me know what do you think about Omega the Unknown, it's a bit hard to find these days, but I'm pretty sure you'll find a second-hand copy without any problem, I'll put some links in the description box, I will see you in the next one, bye guys!